So again, your your thoughts on this, on this film? We got to wrap this. up. Oh yes, uh, it's great. I mean, I I feel like I, I couldn't have. I can't say anything that I I haven't already said while going through my notes. I mean, I just think every facet of this movie works. I think I personally, unlike I guess a lot of people I know, I love rewatching this movie. I I usually rewatch it every October. I'm glad that we did this because I was going to rewatch this October. I forgot to. I just like know all the lines like by heart. I just have seen it okay. so many times. So it's great. It's just perfect. Yeah, it, it's fantastic. It, again, I I mentioned this earlier. You said you're really entertained by it. I don't find it all that entertaining. I just really find it effective. And yeah. the performances have a lot to do with that. But just overall, I, it feels so authentic. Yeah. In a way that other found footage movies I've seen haven't right. felt. Like I've, I see some found footage movies and it's like, oh, that was good. I think I would have yeah. liked it more as a non-found footage movie. And even though I, I was talking about, like, I would like to see a different version of right. this story, you know, to expand upon the lore. I don't think the movie would be better at as right. a non-found footage movie. I just think would be kind of, I'd be kind of curious to see that. Maybe all I need to do is see Curse of the Blair Witch. I don't know. But um, you, I, you'd, you'll like that, I think. It's just, it feels so authentic. And the acting is amazing. Of course. And, and really what the filmmakers and, and the actors, maybe even more than the filmmakers, went through to make this. You have to admire it, even if you don't like it. And obviously both of us like it. So Yeah. I mean, it's just like, yeah, it's it's. I think they nail it. I also, like, I've seen a lot of found footage movies. And there's a lot of really good ones. And there's obviously a lot of really bad ones. But, like, this one always gets... I guess credited for starting the genre and it and it, sure. it didn't really but it's funny it didn't even really launch the movement if you will because like no one on earth has ever said paranormal activity is the first found footage movie right. but that's really what launched the found footage craze yeah it's just it's two different kinds because like i think for example like a movie like bad ben was probably more inspired by paranormal activity because oh, sure. it's you know home and it's it's set in a security home yeah, cameras security cameras and stuff. But I think if you're going out in the woods and you're or you're filming a camcorder, Blair Witch like definitely set the tone for a lot of those movies. I've, I'm like I've said, I've seen a million found footage movies. That's definitely the best one. And that even that aside of it just being my favorite, it's also the only one where the acting is believable. Yes, from the start I, to I the end. I mean, there's plenty where there's believable acting, but all the way th- there's always something. You know, Blair Witch. I mean, I know it's a movie. But I watched this with my mother the other night, and she was very confused. I had to explain that it wasn't right. a real thing. And then the, then the explanation contained layers because I had to explain, no, 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 none of it was a real thing. Like, the, the, even the documentary was, like, right. everything was fake. And it just, but it easily convinces you that it's not. And then there are found footage movies like Cloverfield. Yeah, that's Cloverfield's you know. a good example. I like that movie. But I love that That's movie. a good example of found footage is just a style. Right. We're we're just giving you a different point of view of of this kind of story because we've all seen Godzilla or whatever, and we're just gonna present that in a found footage style. And it's and, yeah. it's interesting for what it is, you know. Right, and like to be able to present something in like an amateurish, like just a a human, normal person's point of view, not a filmmaker's, and like that mm-hmm. alone is what's scary about found footage to people, and especially in a movie like Blair Witch where there are no effects or anything, so it feels like you're just you're like it feels like it's real even if it's not and even if you know it's not 